Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin. I'm back here again today with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video and today we have some pretty good info. I don't think anyone else has made a video on this already and when I saw this on Twitter I said this is definitely going to be a good idea for a video and definitely something that gets me pretty excited about Black Ops 3. So we'll get right into the news and it's basically some proposed buffs and nerfs that may be coming into Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and basically we're getting you know uh, some hints on the next patch notes which are going to be coming out and this is really what I wanted because everyone knows I love my vest and my Vesper got nerfed to pretty much the worst gun in the game right now how it's hard it's been nerfed and we have a little bit of an update here which we'll be talking about in today's video so if you guys all could drop a like on this thing as well as hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel we're at like 425,000 subscribers which is crazy I mean I never thought I'd get to you know this many subscribers and I love you guys all for it thank you guys for all the likes and subscribers it all helps my channel grow and it's awesome so let's throw the first tweet up on the screen these tweets are all from David Vonderhaar you all love Vonderhaar he likes to leak a little bit of stuff on Twitter and uh, the first tweet says he's staring at the weapon balance report uh, with Tony Flame, who is a senior multiplayer designer at Treyarch, trying to decide which of these proposed changes will end me. So he's basically joking around that, you know, they're, they're proposing some changes, the multiplayer designers, two different guns and stuff like that. And David Vonderhaar has to look over and say, oh, no, if I do that people are going to roast me for it because back in Black Ops 2 when they actually nerfed the DSR which was like the people's favorite sniper everyone went at David Vonderhaar saying Vonderhaar nerfed the DSR he was getting death threats and all that sort of stuff so it's sort of a joke on that right here and now some guy tweets him Jet Edge he tweets up to Vonderhaar and Tony Flame and says Buff the Vesper slightly, buff the Razorback slightly, nerf the M8A1 slightly, and you choose what needs to be changed, David. And this is what David Von Haar actually replies. He says, Vesper underperforming, worst gun in its class. This is not a surprise. This guy is saying, or Von Haar is saying, the Vesper is the worst g SMG right now, according to the statistics. And I agree completely. The Vesper, they nerfed it way too much. And then he also says the Razorback slightly underperforming. So the Razorback is also one of the weaker SMGs. And then he says, your analysis is spot on, except the M8A7 is fine. It's the third most popular gun in the class, or the third most popular assault rifle, with the KD averaging exactly where we like it. So he's basically saying that this guy who tweeted at Vonderhaar, Jet X, had a perfect spot on analysis that the Vesper and the Razorback are underperforming, which most likely means they are going to be getting buffs in this next patch, because that's what he's talking about, these weapon balance report. They like to buff the ones who are underperforming, nerf the ones who are overperforming. So he says the M8 doesn't need a nerf, but it looks like from this tweet, the Vesper and the Razorback are, the Vesper's gonna get probably a pretty huge buff here, and the Razorback probably a little buff in this next big patch update, which I'm very excited for, because I think the Vesper, it was like the best gun in the game, now it's the worst gun in the game, that's obviously an over nerf, they nerfed it too much, and hopefully this time they buff it, you know, a, a good amount, I, I hope they, I, they might under buff it, but I hope they buff it a good amount here to where the Vesper is actually a very strong weapon. Now another guy tweets at him, this tweet was actually deleted, um, so I can't show it up on the screen, I can show the picture of it, but it says the guy deleted it. I don't know why you would delete your tweet if David Von Hart like retweeted on his thing and showed it to everyone, but I remember what the tweet says. The tweet basically said that the CUDA and the VMP are overpowered. That's what this guy was complaining about, and I guess Von Hart kind of roasted him. That's why he deleted it, maybe. But Von Hart says, if you want to get technical, both are guilty of being disproportionately popular rather than OP. You're still right, though. So he's basically saying that the VMP and the CUDA are not OP statistically. They probably won't be receiving any nerfs, but it's just the people love to use those weapons and with the Razorback and the Vesper being underpowered, obviously these ones are, you know, people are going to say they're overpowered and stuff like that. And that's about it. Then he tweets out, good talk, miss you all. And uh, thank you guys all for talking about the patch update. So it's basically what, what we can get from this is it looks like they're not going to be nerfing the Kuda and the VMP, but we're most likely going to be getting a buff on that Vesper and that Razorback, which is pretty exciting from these tweets. That's what we can read between the lines and infer in the next huge patch update. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I thought this was a pretty good and insightful one let me know in the comment section down below what is one gun in the game you want to see get a buff get more strong and what's one gun in the game you want to see get a nerf thank you guys for watching this video if you guys made it to the end of the video leave a comment saying patch down in the comment section down below thanks for watching guys subscribe for cookie and don't looky and i'm out peace have a great night